Hey guys, our decline here, average picker. So we are going to see if we can't get the uh, Rogue Scholar challenge lock picked. It was pinned up by uh, Trekmaster30. Kind of wrapped in some foam here. It's just a slippery lock. Uh, so I thought maybe if I stick some of this foam on here, it'll grab it in there a little bit better. Let's see what we can do here. I've been wondering for a while, where's all the Atlanta pickers at? There has to be more pickers in Atlanta than it seems. Um, I know Savage Otter, uh, he's in the area. I can't seem to locate anybody, you know? I don't see anybody really posting. So what I'm starting to think is maybe I just need to pick a location like Joe's Coffee House in East Atlanta and just say, hey, you know what? On this date, I'm going to be there. Okay, we got some rotation on the core. And just say, you know what? I'm going to be there and come join me. Had a little bit of counter rotation, and there we go. Turned over. <clears throat> it's hitting that. It's hitting a really deep little false in there. It was. I could kind of feel it was right in there. Of course, usually when you have those falses, there's not a whole lot of a, more space for it to go. <clears throat> Either going to drop something and uh, start chasing that false around in a circle, or you're going to get it. So, there's our key. Look at that. That is crazy. So, we've got the, basically this chunk carved out in the middle um, to guard the back. Let's see what we got. Does it only go one direction? No, there it goes. A little bit of a catch. Does it say to use a shim? It feels like I should use a shim, but you know what? I've only got like one shim, and I think I've worn it the hell out. Yeah, I had another one, but I lost it somewhere. Just want something to. Well, that clip is not near as bad as I suspected it was going to be. The clip is almost too loose. Let's just manhandle it off of there. Oh, yeah. This clip has seen better days. I might have to see if I can find one. <clears throat> okay, so that's at the back of our lock. I'm gonna try to do this very carefully here. Hope that doesn't turn. Smart person would just throw a shim into there. There we go. There we go. Ooh, cut it. <laughs> I cut that real close. <clears throat> Coming out, I kind of gave it a little rotate. Well, yeah, so these pins are really down in there. All right, let's see what we got. There's the tweezers. You know, I just realized the overhead light's not on. I don't know if that helps you guys on the video, but it uh, definitely helps me. All these are some little tiny guys. And then as we would expect, a big giant guy that's got some serrations. His uh, slightly bigger brother. Another little tiny guy. Yeah, we'll pull out from the front. 
Okay, so our driver number one. I'm really tired, by the way. I had to get up super early this morning and to go into bed super late. So, like I said, this guy, actually, he came out serrations first. He looks like he was a uh, key pin. In a former life somewhere. Uh, spool. Definitely been the guy giving us the counter rotation. Another kind of, um, I don't know, I guess some people call them um, wedding cakes. Serrated. Okay, there we go. Let's see what we got. If there's anything seems to be going on. Uh, it doesn't feel like the core has been modified. It doesn't look like it's been modified. Let's take a look real quick at the. Uh, spring okay yeah so we've definitely we've got cuts on one four and five really nice clean cuts actually really nice okay let's get the camera flipped around see what we can do okay take a look at the oh I got the iPad set a little bit low the cuts on one, three, and five. Really, really clean, too. Look at that. I'm used to uh, seeing some pretty dirty milling inside these cores. Um, but man, I tell you, the last round of locks have been so clean with that. <clears throat> and pin wise. So this is our chamber one, this is our chamber five. Your line would have been across there. So we got, I guess you can see one of our drivers. He was in there just like that, so the serrations would hit. And remember, one was one of the chambers we had some cuts in. So one, three, yeah, one, three, and five. I mean, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> tired. One, four, and five um, is where we had our cuts. Let's flip this guy around. Look at that little guy. I guess this is what people are calling wedding cakes. Um, I sort of made one. I made a pretty large one, though. Um, it's some nice fine work, but I guess it's kind of like a T pin, um, but it's serrated, so it creates this stepped effect, um, which I guess is like a tiered wedding cake. Um, well, this is just some nice clean serrations throughout the whole lock. That's a nice looking spool too. Let's take a look at him. Got some tapering and everything in there. Doesn't just jab in, he runs transitions very nicely and smoothly. I like some crazy pins, but then you start seeing a lot of crazy pins and you just kind of appreciate just some good solid classic work there. clean out my uh, pitting tray here. So yeah, there we go. That was the uh, Rogue Scholar by Trekmaster30. So 
as always, guys, I definitely appreciate the lock and a chance to uh, pick on it. Uh, this one came out of the batch that I believe the Jimmy sent to me. We had done a little trade-off, swapped out some locks with each other. All right, guys. Uh, have a good one. Figure I'd give you a quick little view down inside the core. There's really nothing going on in there. Some of the other springs came out, so we've got pretty much all the same springs. core has not been modified. Oxford. All right. Have a good one.